So a lot of people say that if you're um, there's this guy who's popular online now called Andrew Tate. You probably have heard of him as well. He says that, well, if you're in, he's in Romania and he says that he's proud to be there because he can pay off for things and then just get away with it. And then he says that oh, in America, you can do that too as well. Basically, the belief is that if you have enough money in America, you don't, you know, you almost never go to jail because you get there, you can afford the best lawyers and on and on and on. So you are a wealthy person in your instance why do you think you still went to jail uh, considering all the amount of lawyers you could get? Yeah, I, I actually think that's not true in America, uh, depending on what you do. So Charlie Kushner, uh, who is a real estate uh, investor, whose son is Jared Kushner, who was in the White House. Charlie went to prison. Um, there was a Chinese billionaire who was in prison with me, actually. Um, and uh, there are many other wealthy people like Martha Stewart and others. So I think that we have a system in this country that is a little more fair and a little less corrupt, but the corruption is still there. It just comes in a different form. And that corruption comes in the form of politicians and prosecutors sort of using their position, not necessarily for the public good, but also for their own good. And I think that when a prosecutor prosecutes somebody who's famous, they become a little bit famous too. They get some new thing to put on their resume and that they start to um, be uh, do a pe press conference. They start to sort of be in the light, limelight, and then they could maybe get a job that turns their salary f up five times. You know, so that that is the kind of thing that, you know, you still have corruption, but it's in a different form. Um, there is not much corruption in terms of paying people off and stuff like that in this country. There's a little bit, I think, but this is the kind of thing that gets people into even more trouble. So. Typically in, in our country, you don't have bribery, you don't have that kind of stuff. There is a little bit of backdoor kind of um, political um, donations and things like that that seem to help. And I never made many political donations before my arrest, so I didn't have a lot of people to sort of turn to to help, but I'm still not sure it even would have helped that much because, um, you know, there are many people who, uh, I, I believe there are many people who, who will still go to jail, even no matter how much money they have. At the same time, you look at one, one family here in America, the, the Sackler family, who many people feel are responsible for the opioid epidemic. I actually don't feel that way, but that no Sackler has been ever been arrested. And many people feel like that, you know, is a good example of what you're talking about. So I still have hope that America is fair and, and not that corrupt. But obviously, I understand where you're coming from and where Tate is coming from on that. Right. So, hey, listen. If you enjoyed this small piece of a long form podcast interview that I just did, I recommend that you go to Survival Skills Podcast and watch the entire interviews without any delays or without ads and destruction. The podcast name is Survival Skills Podcast. It's available on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and all other platforms. Search it, find it, go there and subscribe and enjoy the entire, entire episode. Okay, have fun.